it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Bramble Fox using items from the Jean Fox box as well as one of the new paper snips, it's number 28 and the latest stencil which is number 67 and if you're a Foxbox Plus subscriber you'll get this stencil in your Foxbox Plus um, so look out for that one, it's gorgeous, it's got butterflies and dragonflies on it and some gorgeous stitching hearts and swirls as well so for this layout, I'm going to use the Better Together title, and this is a gorgeous colour. It's a lovely pink, and it's it's really hard to describe the colour. It's not bright pink, and it's not pale pink. It's just a gorgeous shade of pink. I love it. And I thought it would work really nicely with 49er Market's new Art Options Rouge collection. But then I got sent this Paper Snips, and I thought, actually, I want to use this Paper Snips because Paper Snips 28 is just beautiful, loads of florals and leaves. So I'm going to use that instead. I've got a sheet of bright pink basil cardstock. It's a smooth cardstock. And then I've taken a sheet of white 12 by 12 cardstock cut the two sides off um, by about a quarter of an inch on each side and then I've torn the top and bottom and kind of distressed those edges and rolled them back a little bit on themselves and I'm going to adhere this to the middle of that cardstock so I've got some of that pink showing through. This is going to be a very pink layout for me. Um, pink is actually my favourite colour but because I only ever scrap photos of my little boy it's not a colour I get to use often but if I'm scrapping a photo of me and him, then I'll take any chance I can to use a bit of pink. So this was um, really enjoyable for me today to use a colour that I wouldn't ordinarily use. And as you can see, by using those paper snips, um, the layout has come together really quickly. I haven't had to do much yet. So I've got a circular photo today. It's just under four inches in diameter and I'm going to have my title sat to the bottom left hand corner of that. It wasn't really a corner is there because it's a circle, um, but the bottom left of my photo and I've also got this gorgeous little heart piece underneath that says us in it um, and it's the same colour as that title piece so I'm going to be using that as well. And then I'm going to arrange those paper snip florals around my photo going diagonally through it. But before I um, stick anything down, I want to add a little bit of mixed media to my background. I was in the mood to have a little bit of a play. So I'm just bringing everything back in so that I can mark up where I want my mixed media to sit and kind of get a rough idea. I've got this stamp here from my stash. It's got a butterfly on it and it's got some kind of scripty font as well. It's almost like, um, not scripty, sorry, um, text. It's like typewriter text but I really love it and it's gonna give me some subtle detail on my background. Most of it will end up covered up, but you will get a little bit of the words here and there. So I love how that looks. And then I've pulled out an older fox cut stencil. This is a, this is definitely my favorite. Um, this is number 17, it's that lovely starburst design. I'm just going to add a little bit of pink through that. I'm using a Distress Oxide in Picked Raspberry. And I've got those um, stenciled starbursts coming out in the opposite um, diagonals to how I'm going to have my paper snip florals so that you will definitely see it and it won't get covered up. And I absolutely adore this stencil. You can use this for any layout. Um, it's so generic and you can use it just as I'm going to do here with a little bit peeking out here and there. Um, I just love the effect it gives. And this is where I realised I've made a little bit of a boo-boo. So I wanted to add some of that pink cardstock behind my photo as well, because it's a lot brighter than my mixed media um, and it really will help my photo to pop. However, I forgot to gut it before I stuck my white cardstock down. So now I'm struggling to get a section out of the back and that's because I put some double-sided tape going all the way diagonally through that white cardstock. But alas, I got a bit off eventually. Um, it's a little bit uh, screwed up, um, but that's okay. My photo is going to cover most of that. I'm only actually going to have a tiny bit showing and I'm going to distress the edge anyway. Um, but that's done. No damage to my layout at all. You wouldn't even know that I've cut that piece off the back. And I will add some sellotape um, just to the back to keep those edges um, sort of secure and so that they're not going to get caught on anything. 
Um, but yeah, in reality, I should have probably cut this bit out before sticking the white card stock down. But never mind, I got there in the end. Um, it just goes to show you can't always be perfect, can you? We all make mistakes. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to try and cover it up. Like, this is what happened. So there we go. Anyway, all rectified now and I can start getting things stuck down. So these florals that I'm sticking down now, these are paper snips number 28. I have got, you'll notice, a couple of leaf sprigs on my desk. So the one I'm sticking down now, those are not from the paper snips. Those are from 49er Market Spectrum Sherbet Collection. If you remember that collection, it had um, kind of two halves to it. It had a, a blue and green half and a, a pink and yellow half. I think it was called Strawberry Lemonade. Um, and that is from the floral laser cut die cuts or whatever they're called um, from that collection. Oh, apologies, my son's just popped in to say hello with his little squirrel. That squirrel goes everywhere with us, it's like his best friend. Um, it's Felix the squirrel coming to say hello. Anyway, back to my layout. So I've got those florals stuck down. I've raised those up with foam pads because I love to have a little bit of dimension underneath my embellishments. And I've put some foam behind my photos as well. I've also brought in a couple of butterflies. Those again are from the 49er Market Spectrum Sherbet Collection. And I've stuck the bodies down flat um, with my glossy accents and I've left the wings flapping free. So they can be sort of bent up and it looks like the butterflies have just landed on the page. And I'm gonna add some little butterfly trails to those in a minute as well. My title, I've added some foam behind some of it. Again, I end up having to do this with every layout because I like to usually have my perspective title overlapping my photo slightly. And because I always raise my photos up with foam, it means then that part of my perspective is not gonna have contact with my background cardstock. So I have to add a little bit of foam behind it just so there's something to stick to my background. Um, and I try and color match my foam to my acrylic as best I can. It doesn't always work. Um, I was quite lucky here. I had some pink foam that worked quite well. And then I've tied a little bit of cord through the um, curl on the bottom of the G and I've tied it round that little us love heart. So it's going to be hanging down from my title um, and it's just going to bring in a little bit of black because I've got a black and white photo and when I have a black and white photo I like to bring in some pops of black to the layout. So um, I've got that little bit of twine there, I've got some black on my butterflies and I am going to add a little bit of black splattering at the end. Now this is the fox cut number 67 that you get with the June Fox Box Plus and I'm just using it to add a couple of butterflies. So um, there's different shapes and styles of butterfly on that stencil. So I've added two at the bottom and two at the top. And now I'm using the bottom half of the stencil which has some kind of stitched swirls and I'm using just part of one of them to add some little trails on my butterfly. Um, it's probably not what Morag intended the, <laughs> the stencil to be used for, um, but that's what I'm doing with it. And I absolutely love it. It makes it so easy because I'm not very good at drawing the trails that come off of butterflies. And um, they never look very natural. So Morag's done the work there for me and I've used my stencil for that, again, with my Distress Oxide. And just to bring in a little bit more black, I've added a black outline to those butterflies. Just kind of finishes them off nicely and helps them pop a little bit. And now I'm going to add some black splatters to my background. And I'm using a watered down acrylic paint for this. It's just a cheap paint from Hobbycraft. I think it's about £1.50 a bottle. And it lasts me forever because I only ever use it for splatters. Um, so just watered that down on some of my Bramble Fox packaging and added some splatters with a paintbrush. And I pretty much think that's me finished. Oh yes, I do add some doodling just to those two edges. They felt a little bit unfinished. So although they're distressed, I've just brought in a black marker and added some doodled lines down there just to bring in a bit more black and finish that off. And now that is me done. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this layout and the process and it gives you some inspiration. Um, these products can be found in the June Fox box and that paper snips will be in the store um, separately. It's not the, the paper snips that come with the June Fox box. There's another one in that, um, but that one will be added to the store shortly. But thanks again for joining me. I'll leave some links in the close-up, sorry, some links in the description box for you below to our shop, our Foxbox sign-up page, and our Bramble Fox Friends Facebook group. And I've got a few more close-ups coming up for you. Um, but thanks again, and I'll see you next time.